on the heels of many delays and much known about controversy regarding leaks, we finally have official dates for Last of Us 2 and Ghost of Tsushima's releases. With that being said, is releasing them in back-to-back -back months the smart thing for Sony to do? Hmm, let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason why I ain't too proud to beg. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Ghost of Tsushima. Last of Us 2. Got release dates. One's coming out in June. One's coming out in July. Why so damn close that many, many people are asking now? You know what I'm saying? Um, we're going to examine all that. But first, let's, let's go into the official release. And you can catch um, one of that via the BroadbandBullies.com website. The best place to go to stay up on the latest news in these gaming streets, baby. All right. So <clears throat> here goes the story from the homie Buck Dat. Um, he talks about both PlayStation 4 titles will launch this summer. I'm not going to read the whole article, but just give you a gist of what's happened here or what information has been released here. Um, and this is coming from Herman Holst, head of Worldwide Studios at SIE. He says, as we begin to see an ease in global distribution environment, I am pleased to announce, to confirm that The Last of Us Part 2 will arrive on June 19th and Ghost of Tsushima will follow on June 17th. So... There you have it, you know, a little less than a month apart. Now, a lot of people are looking at this and like, hold on, oh, whoa, whoa. Why so close together? What's going on here? Well, I'm gonna say first and foremost, for those that have doubts about why this is happening, um, let me remind you that The Last of Us Part Two is releasing without a multiplayer. So it's gonna be a straight single player. Right. And even though there's replayability and there might be PlayStation Game Plus or whatever they call it, where they add to it, I don't think that's coming anytime soon. Right. So because of that, I think it's 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 solid to have Ghost of Tsushima, which is a new IP, have that in a non-critical peak month of July. Anytime like July and, 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 and forward and prior is a non-critical peak month for the heavy hitters. So it was it's smart to have a game, a new IP like that, released within that time frame, within the first six or seven months of the year. That latter five to six months, yeah, it's tough. That's that, that, that's tough earnings, baby. And that's why I go, um, not Ghost of Tsushima, but that's why Horizon Zero Dawn did so well. It released in March, a slower period, and that was like the bigger craze even though for a while it, it, it kind of like um, crested at 2.5 million but then as it gained popularity then they dropped the price in the peak period okay and that's why that was so successful so I think a good launch date within the non-peak period for a new IP is a smart way to go especially nowadays so you don't want to change uh, Ghost of Tsushima's date too much you don't want to push it back any further you know out of that safe zone but the last of us two hmm could that have been a put could, could that have been released in a later month well let's take a look at that let's examine I'm gonna start with May. Now this is courtesy of pushsquare.com. You know what I'm saying? Props out to them for having this out here. This is the schedule for 2020. Now I'm gonna start with May. Um, you know, we got Ever Forward and Fast and Furious Crossroads and May's almost over, right? No, I'm, I'm sorry. April's almost over, we're going into May. So some people may say, well, if the game is ready, why not drop it in May? <clears throat> and maybe it needs a little bit more polish. Maybe you can't put it in May. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think rushing it too much is is a smart thing to do. I think June would be the earliest to put it in there, but is it the smartest to put it in as early as June? Well, let's look, let's look at the rest of these games coming, you know, over the next few months. Then we got, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we have June. Where we got Little Town Hero. I don't know, even I don't even know what that is. 1971 Project Helios. Don't know what that is. The wonderful. 101 Remastered, Warborn, Desperados, The Last of Us Part Two, of course, SpongeBob SquarePants Fairy Tale, which might have a, a semi-cult following, and No Straight Roads. 
So none of these games, I think, have a potential to do anything. So you, you, you got Final Fantasy VII Remake in April. May, you got nothing coming. Why not June? You know what I'm saying? Why go more than, <clears throat> excuse me, two months, or go, go more than one month when you're really not making any sound waves? And Final Fantasy VII Remake is enough to fill up the gap of a, of a month where things are a little bit lackluster, you know, to your to your console, right? So, June could make sense, but let's, we already know July. Ghost of Tsushima's coming out, so it doesn't make sense for Ghost of Tsushima to come out in July as well. But let's look at August. Could Ghost of Tsushima have been pushed back to August, right? To create another gap, you know, between June and July. So they're not back to back. Well, let's look at August. We got Insurgency Sandstorm and we got Winebound. Um, that argument can be made. That argument can be made. But then in September, September 4th, that is, you got Marvel's Avengers coming out. And that's the more popular. And then you got Cyberpunk 2077 coming out September 17th. We don't know what the status of this pandemic is going to do as far as people's financial situation. Some people may look at Ghost of Tsushima and say, you know what? In a month where I normally would have picked that up in an August, even though there are heavy hitters coming out next month, I got to save my money for Marvel or Cyberpunk or just one of those games. I'm going to hold out on Ghost of Tsushima. And that would have, you know, led to doom and gloom for that system, for that game. So I think July is smart. Now, could you have Last of Us 2 release in these other months? Yeah, you could have. Last of Us 2 is a big game. It could compete. But why even do that? Why even do that when you got June and August? Now, could you put Last of Us 2 in August? I think you could have put Last of Us 2 in there in August. And I think it would have done fine. But here's the problem, the leak, the leaks. The leaks are so bad as far as dampering expectation or, or, or hype about the game. I think Sony did the right thing in putting it in July in June. I think May would have been too early. Let this simmer and die down a little bit. Put it out in June where it's kind of curtailed a little bit and, because I think you can't put it out any further like it. And to, I mean, the, the the negative condensation that that, that it just fills the room now when you talk about Last of Us 2, I think would have just continued to fester the longer that it waited. So put it out here now. And to me, that's a shame. That's a shame because um, all the hard work, and I talked about this in, early in, a, in, in, in my prior video, so I'm not going to get too far into it now. But I'm just saying, it's a shame because the hard work that the devs put into this, it all got thrown out the window because one dev had a personal issue maybe a political issue with some some silly stuff right now i get where people like porter rock are coming from where they're saying this shouldn't matter i get it to a degree because porter rock comes from the old school like your boy okay back in our day gameplay told your story there were no clever scoreboards okay you weren't getting you weren't getting Martin Scorsese, you know what I'm saying, to, to direct your, your video game. Nothing like that was happening. The story was told through these little cheesy cutscenes, you know what I'm saying, here and there, that popped up here and there, and the gameplay. So in Porter Rock's mind, who cares if this story was released? I like the gameplay. But where I don't, agree with Porter Rock across the board people should feel that way is we gotta we gotta understand it's 2020 bro and uh, th these these are these are some story warriors I've had people tell me that they rather have a banging story than good gameplay any day and that shocked me but it's the it's the era that we're in you know what I'm saying so and and Naughty Dog knows that so they curtail their games Really, I think more to pacify the story lovers than the gameplay lovers in my line. Man, my mind. I get it. A lot of people may like the gameplay of, of Last of Us, but I think that when you look at the accolades and the fan base, they're more in it for the story. You know what I'm saying? Whether that should be the way of it or not, quote unquote, 
old fogies like me and Porter Rock, man, we just don't, we, we're, we're just not the predetermined anymore, man. It's, it's 2020 and it's a new school and this is how they operate. And it is what it is. You, we can shake our fists at the window and say, get off our lawn all we want, but it is what it is. Naughty Dog knows that. They make the, they, they curtail the game to, to cater to those that love story over gameplay. And um, those people are disappointed. So it, it's a shame that this all had to happen. Um, but maybe, um, maybe we can unify as a gaming community to watch out for all of this across the board because... For those that laugh at Last of Us 2 because you prefer another console, it's gonna happen to you. And you're gonna want the PlayStation people to fight for you and it's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? So we did, did, there's some times when we gotta put our flags down, you know what I'm saying? And, and fight for the betterment of, of gaming. But in light of all that, that's it for my babble. I think it's a smart move. In a perfect world, you would have been able to do something different you probably would have been able to release last of us 2 as a playstation 5 launch title which i think would have been would have did wonders for the console however i don't think you can hold it out anymore you know and that's it from your boy mm2k and hey, yo let me know what you think about what i had to say in the comment section below because like i always say who cares what i think but if you did like what i had to say check out the links below to follow me those links will lead you to the broadband bullies pnts network hard knock digital culture and yes the stadia dosage and with that said you all have a wonderful gaming day peace